What's up? What's up? What's up? All right. So I hope you guys like that. <laughs> um, that is uh, good evening, y'all. What's up? It's Colleen, uh, Kyle one, and um, yeah, I'm kind of in a bit of celebration mode, just a little bit, just a little bit, because that was actually overdue for we the 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, seven years. Jesus, seven years. That thing is seven years overdue. Um, there's a lot of stuff that happened uh, for that entire time period, honestly. Um, so much as far as projects are concerned, as far as um, new experiences, as far as so many new skills learned. And I wanted to be able to show everyone, I guess in a package form, my portfolio up to now. You know, I have quite a few uh, reels over the years, but you have to keep updating. You just absolutely have to. You have to keep refreshing, showing your new work, showing how relevant you your work is, how relevant you are. And now with me being out in front, dope production demo. Thank you. Thank you, Jermaine. Triforce, thank you also. Jermaine and Triforce, uh, Empire Acadia and Videoland alum alumni here. <laughs> um, yeah, man, it was... Uh, 
it was a while. I'm not going to lie. After I finished doing the edit, I, I almost started crying <laughs> because it was something I was so apprehensive with because I didn't think I was doing much better over the years. And it took a lot out of me. And, you know, it's a lot of ups and downs, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. But I uh, learned to definitely appreciate what it was uh, that was accomplished over the years. It's crazy. And it's much more than that, especially if you go to the website. Um, evolutions, like every two years. Yeah, exactly. Triforce, exactly. Exactly. So it's uh, now the big push now is uh, <clears throat> getting all my reactivating all my unreal muscles so i've uh, been in some what you call it some uh courses with between that and like cinema 4d which i'm jumping back on for this weekend i took like a day off today and i already feel guilty uh and yeah right now we're just we're here to, we're here to chill we're here to chill we're here to chill we're gonna do some rank up matches um i want to mess around a little bit with uh shanghai with the shanghai gp and to <laughs> Prove even more so of a point. Oh, so I'm not the only one that said this. I just checked out a review on Lamar Ultimate from a race car driver, a guy who does uh, race car driving. It wasn't really specific. He doesn't do GTE racing. Most likely does like GT4 and, and other sports car racing, regulated sports car racing where everything's you know gutted, made, made for the track. He said the same thing I said last night about ACC's braking, where you ha it feels like mush, you can't feel it. And you have to practically slam on a brake to get any response. I swear to you, I looked at the screen and said, that's what the f I said. <laughs> but they hear it come out of a race car driver's mouth. It's like, okay, so it's not me. Like, I'm not a race car driver, but I'm going back and forth between multiple games to get a general feel of how everything is supposed to feel and move and respond as an average, you know? And I uh, try to go for the highest, most polished average of titles that I mess around with and try not to go too far off because it'll start giving me into many bad habits. Um, but yeah, hearing him say that, I was like, oh, I feel so vindicated. Thank you. Like, <laughs> I don't want to be the guy I'm like, you never did a race car drive. I was like, you know, you know, you, you guys got that. You got that point of credibility or my lack thereof there. But when it's coming from the horse's mouth, now what? You know what I mean? So, little thing. Is that uh, by design, though? Every two years? Um, it should be. It should be, honestly. Uh, but I've been... Uh, oh, that's actually one of my shots that I made. It, it's, it lets you stick for the loading screen. Um, it should be every, every couple of years, but so much has happened, and then the pandemic happened, so that really threw me uh, for a curve. In a lot of ways, I'm still recovering from some of the things from the pandemic. I know quite a few people are, too. So, yeah, it is by, it is by design. Um, and now you got the, a lot of the Gen Zers um, that are in the job markets. They don't even want to stick around jobs for that long. So they're making even more so. Oh, the slamming on the brakes. I went into a whole different conversation. <laughs> is the slamming on the brakes by design for it to respond so poorly? God, I hope not. Uh, it's not. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Because uh, you can use the similar vehicle in other titles. You don't get that problem. Um, you know, none of the titles are perfect. They all got their own, their own shiz. They only got. They all got their own crap. But there is that. You know zero point where everybody is meeting in the middle and understanding how to do this one thing right. And everybody agrees on it and you move on to the next thing. It's like a list. It's like a list of features that comes with the genre. Um, even Gran Turismo abides by some of the lists as well. As I used the GT7 UI hacked into a set of Corsa. <laughs> um, so yeah. The, the design of this course is crazy. Look at that. <laughs> the design is so crazy. It looks so freaking wackadoo. <laughs> God, I hope not. The door closing. Oh yeah. Oh, this is your. Oh, that's right. Tripods. You haven't have got a chance. Yeah, this is a set of Corsa, baby. I told you. I, I'm trying to tell you like the stuff. I rarely play console right now because a lot of stuff on console is not really interesting me. 
and being getting in, into being in an older gamer, I'm starting to settle into certain genres that are, are fitting into the lifestyles that I'm melding into everything. So, you know, one hand washes the other, you know? And yeah, absolutely, yes. This is this, this is one of the regular cars in a Seto Corsa. This isn't even a modded car. This is one of the vanilla vehicles. But yeah, Seto Corsa is God tier, bro. I've been obsessed with this game for the past year. And it is hard for me to play anything else because unless it's like R Factor 2, um, Race Room. I keep naming these titles because all these titles have that high point zenith zone, zone where they get almost everything right and their mistakes are very little, you know? And I haven't played Gran Turismo 7 in months. <laughs> like, um, I'm, I, I did, however, I got the Drive Hub. I have to get the Hori controller, which is basically a dongle for it to work. So that's going to be coming. I'm going to be jumping on GT7. But even the engine sounds in this game, it's it's another world. A set of course is another world. Yeah, yeah, man. A set of course on PC, bro. I'm trying to tell you. It's one to one. So we get about 70 frames. New Diner Block. No, a set of course has been around since like 2017, man. They've been around for a while, around for a while, and they uh, they command extreme respect in the industry. Between them, the sister game is set of course the Competizione, which is the official FIA GT3 game now. Sorry, Gran Turismo, they used to have it for GT Sport. These tires are cold. My tires are super cold. Oh my god! See, I can feel I can feel that the car is super cold. The brakes are cold. The tires are cold. I can feel it. I wanted to stick to uh, original instead of Corsa. Um, but yeah, between this and a few others, man, this is the golden era. Oh shit! Of uh, <laughs> racing sims. Um, even with GT7, right? GT7 is like considered to be the lower end as simcade, like simulation arcade mix. Uh, when you really look at it, but it still does so many things right along the sim world that you can use it as a bridge to these games. I did. Uh, we all did. A lot of people. You know, you got guys like Super GT who just literally helped win uh, along with uh, this dude Rory. They both are the top sim racing gamers and they play a set of Corsa of I racing and they mostly play Gran Turismo 7. And they just raced for Bilstein using the BMW M4 GT4 in the Nürburgring 24 hour this, this previous weekend and won in their class. Like, sim racing is serious business now, bro. It's very serious business right now. I knew this was going to come. Gran Turismo helped push a lot of it. And in the PC world, it just exploded. It just exploded. Oh, I got my ABS. You said... Uh New never heard of them until now. Oh, yeah, I said, of course. Okay, I've been away from the U.S. for a decade now. Do they use this game to give people uh, licenses? <laughs> at the very least. At the very least. Yeah, man. Like, the whole thing, like, I <laughs> I pretty much get got all my refinement for getting to drive again from this game. Like, let me show you what this game is, bro. Let me show you what, the, let me show you a set of course. Like, you need to know. Like, you need to know. Like, <laughs> let me introduce you to this world, bro. Okay. Set of Corsa is probably the most if not one of the most top two i didn't say top three top two most immersive realistic racing titles freaking ever this game is used in conjunction with so many people who do race train use racing training on courses and tracks and they have their their vehicles that are too spec and then they put it in the game so you do trains you can train with it in the game and then go and do it in the track. For instance, New York Safety Track. I filmed actually no, because we we're doing this for real. Let me show you you guys. So let me show you something that I did years ago. Let's bring this up. Right. Let's go to my YouTube. Right. Let's bring up. Damn, did a lot here. <laughs> This old series, and I have to get back on this series. I have to find the time and the budget. Gear Motorsport Soul. I did this series years ago, right? Where was I? I did this series years ago. Film this series. It was an action racing uh, reality series. It was a two-part. It was basically a two-part pilot. Now, this is at a race. This is at a car meet. 
And then this is all at a car meet. All this stuff is at a car meet. Right. This is the question. I should probably do this more often. Show you guys some of the stuff I've been working on. Did I use the game? Okay. It is the Ridge Racer music I used, of course. <laughs> Jesus Christ, of course. Okay, and this was at New York Safety Track. This was in the parking lot, I think. It was one of the parking lots, right? Okay, this was going to New York Safety Track, and this is New York Safety Track itself. Now let me show you the way it was. This is this is this whole thing came out so good. I gotta go. I gotta do. I gotta get back on this series because this series came out really well, and I'm really proud of it. And it was only two episodes. <laughs> uh let's see. Was it this one? Oh, Luxie, I remember her. She's a uh, like an import model. Okay, this is all the stunt rider girls. I'm trying to find the footage of actually all the action on New York safety track. I think this is all the story based stuff. Yeah. Let's go back. I have just a highlight. Where is it? Uh, I can't play the promo teaser because uh, that's that's all Joe Budden music. Um, but this course that we were all here, this is New York Safety Track. I filmed this course years ago, and it was just awesome, absolutely awesome. I love this course. Um, I'm trying to find out where I have the I have a highlight where it just this is her uh, Amber in the street. She's crazy. <laughs> she literally did that in the street. Love it. That's the German dope. Oh, can't believe that. Copyright. Uh, <laughs> um, I have one that shows off just a highlight of everybody just just working on the bikes. All in New York safety track. And I absolutely love this course. I, I almost got injured on this course for doing something stupid. But this game is so immersive you can pretty much find any course that's out right now and they, people have laser scans that they've either done for the game ripped from other games that have laser scans or or it's pretty much it that's pretty much it um for instance new york safety track i can find it here and i can practice i can grab a standard i even i even chose standard cars to work off of let's get a honda accord Basic ass, dry, just, just dry. Just Honda, <laughs> we ain't gonna do nothing. Nothing, uh, this is a, this is a mod, Honda Accord mod. Cause it's not even the default for this game. And I can go on here and just practice and practice learning how to drive slow cars fast, which is one of the main skills of being a great driver. Uh, in your spare time, you should do in real life, yep. Sim comparison for racing. That's literally the plan. Sim comparison for racing. Interview with racers and interviews in your vid. Pretty much revamp your gear mode. Exactly. Get out of my head. <laughs> That's exactly the plan. Uh, to do reviews with them. Reviews of their models. Reviews of people who have models that are... Um, see? It's a standard Honda Accord. Nothing special. But the fact is model. Right? And I can sit. I can just keep practicing with this. Since I'm doing it in manual, technically I'm doing a lot more work than would be required if I were uh, using this car on the track. Um, but I can still can. I can turn the traction control off, which is probably never a good idea to do in reality. But if I'm already training how to do this for real, for real, traction control got to go off. And you can feel how lumbering and crap the car is like ill it feels like crap <laughs> but you get an appreciation for it and that's what i love about a set of corsa i can play the game just like a play like a playground sandbox or i can interact with it as a full-on racing game and i'd be here for hours and hours and hours i didn't even show you the the tokyo highway battle section oh this is totally bad work right here like there's a whole the whole Shotoku project is basically um, 
everybody in the highways in Japan with full traffic and like 50 people on the server and it's just fucking chaos. People just going like the street like 150 miles an hour, stunting, drifting. This game is a whole lifestyle. They people that, that do drift competitions and they practice on here. They have their own cars and they mod them and they put them in. They put up lot servers so the only they can do they can they can train with their drifting teams. Like a set of Corsa is ridiculous, ridiculous. I have Gran Turismo courses in here. I have Mario Kart in here. Like there's so much you can do with this platform. That's why it's hard not to be a fan of it because it's like you it's it's you can make your own gumbo. You can make your own race. You can make your own experience. So there's new safety track as I scrub it out right now. I'm driving really badly because I'm not paying attention. But it's really fun. You can just do anything you want with it. I actually do want to do this course now that I actually really, really know how to. So I won't just be a visiting tourist with the camera now. Uh, in between, I'm like, okay, put the camera down and go and, go and uh, put some time on the track. <laughs> That's what I was doing at the arcade ever since I started getting heavy into uh, racing games much more seriously like with this. And don't even, and don't even sleep, Triforce. This is not just for sim racing. I use this for Sega Super GT. I use this for the Sega arcade racing games. Um, Initial D. Like, this thing is... Sometimes I just leave the game running on loop so it looks like it's an arcade. Like, it's a, it's a racing arcade machine. Like... <laughs> This wheel is probably one of my best investments. Whoa! I've probably gained at least three different skills just from having this wheel alone. Including taking this whole thing seriously with doing content creation. And then the second. In. But yes, yeah, a set of Corsa, man. This thing is ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous. While the whole industry for uh, virtual sim racing ex ex exp expanded to where I thought it would be right now. This is good. So you can train in a sim car practice. Yes, dude. It's a standard now. GT3. Oh, God. IMSA, um, International Motorsports Association, is probably the biggest uh, organization in the States right now, I want to say. Probably one of the biggest. And they have... I'm looking at them right now. They have, uh, well, this is the British GT Championship, but they work along with the FIA and they have um, a ton of these races globally. There's a whole new generation of racers that are younger than you and I, men and women that are training constantly in these sims in the times when they can't get into the car or in the off season. It's gotten to the point now where, it's where they say, you work, you, uh, you're training in a sim, yeah, I'm training in a sim. That's a term now, training in the sim. And usually they talk, they're either talking about iRacing, R-Factor, or a set of Corsa. Probably uh, iRacing and R-Factor, or iRacing more because they got a lot of licenses with the official manufacturers. ACC also, but it's usually those one of those four, one of those three or four. And it's become a thing. It's now become a standard. Um, the per Max Verstappen is the, just, just, that's, that's all you got to say. Max Ver-freaking-Stappen. I'm sorry. Please, pardon the flag. Max for fucking stopping. Like, he's aggravatingly, annoyingly top tier. He's winning every F1 freaking uh, event that's happening right now. The only one he lost was the one before that, which was in Australia because his brake blew out. He's been grand slamming everything. Top time, uh, top pole finish, and all in first. Top time in, uh, in practice. Top uh, fastest lap times in a race and uh, per first place pole finish. He is a extreme sim racing head, and you can find him when he's not doing Formula One, which he gets paid thirty to fifty million annually for. He's doing i racing, and you can play him. You can play with him in a GT class, GC three class. It's that serious now. It's that serious of an industry now. And there's a lot that you can expand on from here. You know, a lot of manufacturers are in this now. They have their own expos like this. Sim racing has its own expos. That's from everybody else that's in Poland. There's two of them. And you can find like everything from different wheel setups, different brakes, 
uh, professional uh, movement rigs. It's insane, bro. It is insane. The industry is crazy now. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Um, let's go to some of my favorites here. I just did really badly on here, and I'm going to prove myself. The New York safety track. Oh, even and even not even just that. Look at this. I have tracks from I've heard of uh, the expos for them. Found them when E3 ended. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Dragon Trail. Gran Turismo. This is from Gran Turismo Sport. Literally from Gran Turismo Sport. They ripped it from. No, they ripped it from Gran Turismo. Yeah. Sport. I believe. Uh, let's see. Tokyo. Gran Turismo 4 and 5. Courses that they won't bring back, but everybody wants. So I played in a set of Corsa. Let's see. Seaside. These are all tracks that I've downloaded. Seaside from Ridge Racer. Like, yo, I can, you can make the experience. You can make your own experience. This is an unbeatable platform. And it's hard for me to move away from it because it's so refined and realistic. It's Especially with these mods, this whole this whole interface is a mod is a mod interface. All the, most of these cars aren't even the cars that are in the game uh, by default. Most of these are modded cars. Um, I've just fallen in love with this entire series. This 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 specific, this one specifically because of what you can do. Um, if I see a car or I see a course on TV and I'm liking it, so I, I type it up and I put a set of Corsa. Most likely there's a mod for it. Oh look, initial D. <laughs> literally the vehicles and the character models look okay it's not sitting inside said when you're driving you can see the character models inside the car like it's that serious actually this is one of my favorite vehicles anyway so let's use it okay let's do weekends yep in uh, Seaside and Ridge Racer. Don't be surprised they take AC <clears throat> and put it in a VR headset. They already did that, dude. <laughs> AC in VR is ridiculously good. I've seen so many drift videos and the Shotoku uh, Highway Battle videos from AC with the, with the VR. There's some people that are just completely living in it now. They don't want to leave. It's like they just they just go eat, sleep, shit. That's it. And they just play in the VR. And they compete in drifting competitions. It's that ridiculous. Okay, so this is... In the Ridge Racer map. Put a little radar because the AI does not care about me. And will murder me right off the course. If you played this map as much as I have, you can recognize this easily. But yeah, AC with uh, the Oculus is. Look it up right now on YouTube. There's a ton of uh, a set of course of VR videos. See, so this is this uh, long drift line. Now see, this is an actual racing sim, so if you're gonna be drifting, you have to know how to actually drift, and I don't know how to actually drift. <laughs> I'm a grip race car driver, <laughs> not a drifter. <laughs> I'm barely that, <laughs> with the first one. Actually had to learn what the gears were for each one of these corners. Like, oh, this is what you actually have to do <laughs> with using your brain. <laughs> and not just drift through, so keep it up. Half the time, I just do this all day. Put the AI on and just practice, practice, practice. Who's that? Reiko! Reiko Nagase! Ridge Racer! This is most likely ripped from Ridge Racer 7. Because Seaside hasn't changed since the original one on PlayStation. It's just added more polys. So if you've played Seaside uh, here, You'll recognize it in Ridge Racer Revolution. Rage Racer has a version. R4 has a version. Ridge Racer 5 has the original. 
This is an, an iconic setup at this point, and it's not even real. I get for not using a break. I love that I can feel the tires. Oh, look, AI already messed up. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, there's courses in here that are from grid. Yep, it's the final lap. Hang in there. That's the exact, yep, it's the exact area. Or if you're doing a Ridge Racer Type 4, it's the final lap. Keep your cool. <laughs> Do this for hours. Just practice, work on my technique. I put the AI on of different on different classes so I can see how I measure up. Who knew I'd be doing this after all the nights? We were sleeping on your floor and I was playing Gran Turismo 2 and uh Marveling at the uh, Gran Turismo 3 footage that was launching. <laughs> they tried for us? Oh no, actually it was uh, Gran Turismo 2 on emulator. It was at your house. And I was already playing Gran Turismo 3 and trying to master Laguna Seca more. Which I still love that course to this day. And I know how to do it for real. <laughs> well, semi, for real. Ooh, that was close. Oh, oh my god. But yeah, it takes hours. This game is an obsession. That's why I have to stop playing it. I will never stop playing this game. Would have thought for real. Like, yeah, like for real, right? Who would have thought I'd be on this? Don't be surprised if I play AC. Yeah, the, the, I want to do this with the VR. I want to do this with the VR. See? Character model inside. And everybody has different modded character models. These are all the characters from Initial D. You got uh, everybody. It's, this game is God tier. I have to stop playing this game because I'll never play anything else. There's always something to do to the point that it's so overwhelming you can get bored because you have to think of what to do. So sometimes I jump on the online section. Like, what's another one? Uh, Midfield Raceway. They never brought it back from Gran Turismo. Got it here. And I did the mods for the trees on here myself <laughs> uh let's see let's choose another car let's choose a car that would be nice if it was in gran turismo but they never put it like let's see like the lexus lfa gt1 or let's see a gt500 supra god i love this car this car is just so violent i love this car this car just just doesn't care about you or your children <laughs> Wait, oh, is AI got bodied? Who would have thought for real? I think you could do this for real, not just for just not as fast. Yeah, that's the uh, that's part of the mission, man. It's ended up becoming a side thing. It's like, okay, this is a lot more serious than I gave it than I even gave it credit for. Um, so it's uh, it's good, man. I'm I'm in just in love with sim racing in general, um, especially on the wheel. Like the wheel just changed everything, everything for me. Made me take it a lot more seriously. Um, made me see where I need to improve. Humbled me in a lot of areas. Like, oh, okay, I am not as good there as I thought. Oh, actually, I am good in these areas than I thought. You know, so it's quite a bit. So the 28 PSI. 
high pressure. This all looks intimidating initially, but you get used to it very quickly. Let's bring down the arrow. And I'll, believe it or not, a lot of this language I learned initially from Gran Turismo. And now I just refined it a little bit more with understanding how the language is in from game to game to game. And then I just did study of how it is in reality. I'm like, OK, this is that's what this means. That's what that means. And I carry you the knowledge over. So now I have like core basics that I carry over from game to game. Like, OK, if I'm using an NSX, I tune this way. If I'm using a Supra, I tune this way. Doesn't matter what game, maybe like in slight changes here and there, but it's the same rules all the time. It's still base physics. So get used to it after a while. That's where half the fun comes from, to be honest. Okay, here. Let's put on our tire gauge. It looks intimidating, but it's not really. It's actually really simple. And the Brent Turismo 7 UI, because it's really good. <laughs> it's just really good. The Gran Turismo HUD is always great, so. They found a mod to use it for a set of Gorsa. I'm using it. <laughs> This hates you. Why does it hate you? This is one of the more barren models. You can see there's no textures inside. So that's where you can see the differences from mod to mod. Not every mod is, not all mods are created equal. Um, the exterior for this mod is really cool, but the interior leaves a lot to be desired. But the control. So this is Midfield Raceway. Ripped from, I think, Gran Turismo 5 or 6. Uh, and then they just uh, brought it into a set of Corsa. And the extra trees that you see, I added that. Like the 3D trees, I added that. It came with like standard flat trees and it was really distracting. So I found another uh, mod program inside here that allows you to place trees by using a package, a zip package of trees that people have created in the community. And I get everything from different pine, like you name it. I did all of that up there. Like I started having fun just doing the trees and then discovering you had too many trees, it'll slow your system down because it's too much processing. So I had to learn how to be more disciplined because I was crashing the game. But yeah, midfield raceway. Of course, people want it in Gran Turismo. The Liffany won't bring it. So, go where the gamers go. I ain't gonna ask for no more. I just get it here and let's play myself. Everybody keep begging in the Grand Turismo forum. Oh, Polyphony, bring this back or bring that back. Yes, y'all. I'm not stressing myself out. I've been, been doing that for like 20 years. I'm, I'm good. Y'all keep doing it. Y'all keep singing them songs. Singing them tunes. I'm going where the gamers play. Damn, I missed this course. Midfield Raceway was so good. The sound in this game is just phenomenal. I felt that hard too. You can feel when you lose the grip. You feel it immediately like, oh yeah, I'm gonna crash. I, I deserve every, all of that is coming at me right now. I did it. <laughs> That's the biggest difference I love when I mess up here versus ACC. When it's here, it's kind of like, yep, I knew I did it to myself. I felt it, I deserved it. And ACC is like, I don't know what happened. Like, did the brakes work? Did it with the tires? Like, And I'm really not trying to rag on ACC. I do genuinely love the game. But it's with this, with the mods, man, it's like this game is perfect. Almost perfect. Almost perfect. Like the only thing you can't do in the set of Corsa in this is like in-game modify your car. Like put on, you know, spoilers and put on parts and everything. So that is missing from, say, Gran Turismo. But everything else, I don't really miss it. To be honest, I don't really miss it. I like it, you know, but at the end of the day, I pretty much set up all my cars to be GT class vehicles. And if I can find a GT class version of the car here as a mod, 
the preset mod, well, I don't need to run a Gran Turismo. You see what I'm saying? Like, but it's still a lot of stuff in GT that I appreciate, and that's why I gotta, you know, wait for this 40 controller to come in to use as a dongle for Drive Hub. I still don't understand how Polyphony released Grand Turismo 7 without releasing all of their original tracks that were there that they've remodeled numerous times since Grand Turismo 1. Like, you would think they would just, like, every track should, that's from Grand Turismo 1 should be in every single Grand Turismo before they ever put any of the realistic courses. You know, like, the courses are so famous and they're not even real. That's how much, you know, influence they carried over. Kind of like the Seaside course from Ridge Racer. There's a lot of influence those courses carried over and they're not even physically real. So it boggles my mind how Polyphony released it, like, no apricot hill no midfield like what, what y'all doing like that's like what are you doing <laughs> so yeah that's ah oh, this super is so sexy Okay. All right. Let's see what else I can show you real quick. If you guys are still, yeah, still there. All right. So, um, of course we can do. Yeah. Why not? The actual Gran Turismo one. So there's two versions of this. There's this version. I put two stars on it because this is a mod mod version where they actually opened up the side what do you call it uh street courses the street the streets um and it's used for traffic for ai traffic it's bug it looks buggy as hell it looks bugged out as hell i mean and then is this the original one <clears throat> so let's try this and the gt 500 again so you can just twist a knife a little bit deep and use the casual Tom Supra. <laughs> Which is the staple for Gran Turismo. <laughs> ah! It's not my fault, Polyphony. Should have put in your damn game. It's your course. Yeah, this one I think I uh, have tunes for. And I'm watching the British GT Championship. See, this is what I mean. Like, Alton Park is one of the most popular race courses in the UK, in Great Britain. I don't know anything about it. I started discovering it, like, myself about three, four weeks ago. So what I do, I see that everybody's part of the actual schedule in the GT3 uh, season, of the GT3 season. Alton Park, I said, of course, I found it. Practice on it. Like, it's... There's another one, a little barren with the detailing on the interior. Okay. Oh. <laughs> if I leave the camera like this, you probably wouldn't even know I wasn't playing Grand Turismo. Go Tokyo. And this from Gran Turismo 3 and 4 and 5 and 6. Like every Gran Turismo except for Sport and 7. But every Gran, every Gran Turismo since 3. Except for Sport and 7. Like Gran Turismo 6 wasn't even that good, but at least they had it. camera another thing i like about racing sims customization okay so my problem right now is that my camera is too far tilted back 
So what I'm going to do is drop that and change my pitch. I'm looking up more. Bomb. Problem solved. Let's push the seat in a little bit. Doesn't need to be that far out. And let's raise the height. Done. Another one. It makes it hard to go back to playing stuff on console. If I try to do this in Gran Turismo 7, they give me a little bit of options and almost no flexibility at all. Oh, that glare on the screen is too strong on the windshield. Whatever materials they use to make the windshield are too uh, opaque. We'll just stick to the bonnet pan. There's that acceleration and braking sensitivity. If I didn't have it here, there's no way I could drive these cars. So I try not to rag an ACC, but it's like I can drive every type of GT type of vehicle in, a, in original AC with these mods and feel all the differences from different regions, how the different racing styles uh, compare to one another, why they drive like this in Australia versus Japan versus how we do with IndyCar versus Formula One. And it's all different. Every car has a completely drastically different personality. It's like talking to different women. <laughs> it's like every car is a different woman. They all have their own quirks, their own charms, their own differences. Oh, excuse me, AI. Oh, stiff on. Yeah, that was my fault. Oh shit! Ah! Whoa, oh, God! Yeah, the AI messes up a lot too, which I like. It's a higher class than me. Had to let him pass. No, I'm gonna keep that car down. And so that's a prototype vehicle. I've been doing this for hours and hours and hours. This course feels amazing doing it in something that has physics this advanced. Oh, and I messed that up because my braking was so bad. Oh God. Oh, that was ugly. Oh, the wheel became brain damaged. All right. Oh! <laughs> the wheel just said, what the hell? Now, this is the modded course, so you got to expect there's going to be glitches. Yep, that's one of them. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Even when it goes glitchy. <laughs> because you know it's made by, like, local hands. So, you excuse it. You know, you excuse the craziness. It's like, it's a mod. You know, it's it's fun. And some of them are so polished, you can take them seriously and put them in and take them in more serious races. <clears throat> he said, just recommending, but you should add uh, the stream recording to your Gear Motorsport Soul playlist. This is more of an in-depth uh, review and playthrough than a stream. So uh, it taught me a lot. Okay, I could do that. I can add that to the, the Gear Motorsport Soul one. Um, I mean, that's just, uh, just one click. You already know, it's just one click down. Um... What's another one? Apricot Hill. Oh, not even that. Not even just that. Uh, was it? Not Tahiti. Yes, it was Tahiti Road. Yes, Tahiti Road. Gran Turismo 2. Never brought this back. Somebody redid it. And then I added trees to it. Like I can, like as soon as I think of Tahiti Road, I immediately think of all the original music from Gran Turismo 2. It just comes right in my head. Ding, 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 ding. You can look, but you can't touch. 
I, I, all the music from Gran Turismo too. Like some of my best memories are from GT2 and GT3 soundtracks. They were all so good. So good. And Gran Turismo 4. And then it just went flat. Like the Sony of today. <laughs> he said, oh, well, you died. <laughs> it's your man. It's so when people come check your list, they get the same info them stuff you just gave us. Check your gameplay. So it's hard to see because I'm seeing the heart icon as a covering up section of this. I'll do that. No, that, that's a that's a good point. That's a good point. It does cross pollinate. I mean, it's one of the big reasons why I wanted to do that series. I filmed that series and still want to film more. It was my interest through racing games. And then if you look at the series, it's only about two episodes. <laughs> Um, all the music I used was from Ridge Racer. I used presentation as Ridge Racer style, even with the break. It's so it, but now in hindsight, it only made sense. Like, why the hell did I just use Ridge Racer's theme a long time ago for a lot of stuff that I do today? I should have did that ages ago. But you know, you live and you learn. So this one, I used this, I think, in Gran Turismo three, and I think two. I love this RX-7 so much. Why is it so... Oh, no, I did that on purpose because the problem with this, though, is this big bar right here, this big roll cage section, blinds you. You can't see nothing. And unlike in reality where you can actually, you know, look around and have, you know, certain depth perception in a game, you can't see any of that shit. So I just use... Uh, <laughs> I just go to... Uh, yeah, bonnet cam. Can do this cam. Why did I put this so close? That's trying to focus on this. Let's even see if I can just try just for effort to make this work. It's not gonna work. Because that big ass section is blocking. I mean I can cheat it and just do this. Shift it over. But that's yeah, that's uh Then it just confuses me. Yeah, that's not supposed to be that way. That's already throwing me off. I don't like it. It's supposed to be in the center whether you like it or not. Unfortunately, you can't see nothing, so. So save, save. So we're just gonna do the bonnet cam. Ah. The effing heart is annoying. Oh, yeah, 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 the heart. You're talking, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. On mobile, when you're looking at your messages through mobile. Yes. Because you're trying to see the fresh messages coming thing, coming in. See? So, Tahiti Road, all these 3D trees I added. I didn't model this, but, you know, I just decorated it. And I just designed it according to the way I... If I was doing Gran Turismo 2's, like, sight lines today, this is how I would do it. Because they had the palm trees on one section, the regular trees on the other. And I just dotted and added them, added them in certain batches. And in other sections, I started getting more dramatic just for, because I'm a Sega, a Sega fan and I like racing games that have giant arches and giant like amusement park looking stuff. So I started adding more stuff for creativity, started taking more liberties. I mean, CD Road is a made up course anyway, so you can take liberties. And it hasn't been seen since Rents for Mode 2, so who's gonna say something? Yeah, added all this, like a lot of the arches coming over, then a giant tree up there to give you like a sight line point. Like I like giving a lot of points of reference, you know, like that's how a game level design is supposed to be. I messed that up, that's the other see? Um, you know, so it gives you just a lot of it, a lot of stuff when it comes, damn it, AI is just losing its marbles. Like, <laughs> um, is he adding? Okay, that's gotta get reset. Like all of this stuff, that was not like this. So that is most likely from an update. I have to go in and reset those trees, those floating trees. But yeah, Tahiti Road. It's just as fun as it ever was. Real simple chorus.
course, a lot more advanced for today. Like, most of the stuff that's actually green and brown in Gran Turismo 2 is just, like, rough brown texture. <laughs> like, rough brown texture with speckles of green. But you got the idea, and it was still cool. You know, it was still fun. It's PlayStation 1. But yeah, I just tried to imitate the feel of the sight lines with the trees. Make it interesting how the shadows cascade over the track. Like designing, like track design is actually a whole art form unto itself. It's not even as simple as just placing it down, but it's like how do you create this, the, your sight lines, your points of reference for braking? How do you do certain things where it's not so visually busy that it becomes distracting and then the person can't tell what the hell they're supposed to be looking at and they crash? Or sometimes that is the idea is supposed to be a city-based course so it's supposed to be visually busy so now how do you give sight how do you give reference points and for, for your break reference points and uh help out with sight lines and that method you know and i found sega's really good with that like if you use that theory of thinking that method of thinking and then you go back to the the sega racing games like oh that's why yu suzuki was an effing genius i didn't even know any of that when i was like a kid i didn't re i didn't understand what i was looking at but now what I'm looking at is like, oh, the sight lines and the points of reference. And well, that's why so many of these games were so damn good. Like, he understands design. I mean, some games were a little bit just dull. Like, for our F355 challenge, which is... Um, but all his other stuff? Come on. He even has a racing game that dropped. That was like, it took place on television. Like, it was like, like Smash TV. It was a goofy-ass game. It took place in America. And it just, but it was his very last game. It was the last game being done in the Naomi board. But yeah, in hindsight, now that I understand how racing game design is, and Yu Suzuki was the man. His crazy ass was trying to take on a whole team of polyphony. Yo, kudos to this man. Like, he was gonna die. Like, it was, he was gonna go against a whole team with a sword and a horse. And just like, yo, I don't care. Like, if I'm going, I'm going out with my shield, you know? Which I gotta respect that. I gotta respect that. And Kazuno, I know Yamauchi respected that because he's like, this motherfucker crazy. Like, don't you know, we like Gran Turismo 2, but bury anything he's trying to do with himself. And it's like a team of like 30 people. <laughs> like, we got like a team of like 200. Like, it was. But he stood there and he fought to the death. You know? Love you, Suzuki, man. Oh, it took a hard. Ah, yes. Let's have a replay. Yep, replay camera. <laughs> there was an AI doing straight violence. <laughs> AI doesn't care, man. It doesn't care about your life. The AI will kill you. It does not care about your life. Now, some fun fun. Now, this is already fun. So let me show you what I was talking about. The Shotoku Battle Project. Oh, Triforce just said something in the group chat. Let's go to the Shotoku Battle Project. So this was the one that really got me into jumping on a set of Corsa. <clears throat> this thing, I was just trying to like, I just kept seeing the footage of this. I was like, yo, this is crazy. Like, we don't have a new Tokyo Highway Battle, but... This is the closest thing, and they literally rendered almost the entire, sh like, look at this, this whole map. This does, let me just show you what this thing is. This thing is nuts. And people will sit on this for hours. Look, 30 out of 53 people. These servers are always full, no matter what time of the day it is. It does not matter. Look, another one just got refreshed. 33 out of 40 people. They're ridiculous. Okay, let's use an Xbox. <clears throat> this is basically like a trials a lightweight track based uh, open wheel vehicle absolutely don't want to take this on a highway in reality but it's a game we do what the hell we want <laughs> oh, i appreciate that try well, maybe i should do that more often i can i mean I should probably just do that more often and go down the line of like uh, the stuff that I've done. Uh, for real. <laughs> I, ne I never really think of it that way, to be honest. Um, but, you know, I'm starting to expand into new. That car is dying. Oh, it's McLaren. I love McLarens. Um, yeah, show off more. 
I'm gonna show off more um, from the stuff that I've done. Kind of white, you know. I'm trying to remember where I put that that gear video. Where it was just the highway. But then actually, you know what? I probably can't play it because I was using Andre 3000 speedballing. <laughs> this is before I started being aware of copyright issues or caring about copyright issues. I should care. Now I have to. It's like, oh, copyright. Oh, it's got to turn off copyright. Oh. That's part of the thing. It's part of the thing. This always takes the longest to load because it's loading a ton of assets. A ton of assets. So this is the Shotoku Highway Project in the daytime. The AI is aggressive, but in ACC with actual players, they're significantly worse. Yeah, they play so bad that when you see the AI mess up, you wonder if the AI is doing it because that's how the players play. Yeah, exactly. You wonder, like, is this, is this just imitating the players? Because semi-slicks, okay. We want some security, so let's turn to 20... Right, 27, 27, 25, 25. Let's get some racing camber because we're going to need it. Especially if I'm going to be running for my life. So this is the, I basically call this <coughs> uh, 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 Nooka Town. Basically, whenever I play it, it's like, okay, it's time to go to the hood. Let's go to the Shotoku Revival Project. No one cares about nothing here. Everybody's just out for themselves. It's just hot death all day. Ain't no rules. You catch somebody in a street race, you take it. Uh, it's ramming. Just, just you'll you'll just see. It. It's just it's an amazing, awesome, aggressive, abusive experience. <laughs> and I love it. Uh, it's like if you just feel like being toxic, you go into this room. So we're using an Expo, which is significantly weaker than every other car on the course, but. It's also lighter. So in the straights, I'm gonna get murdered, but as soon as we start getting to corners, I'm gonna get an advantage. Okay, it's like almost no traffic here. Very light. This car is very tame for this course, but this is mostly made for cornering. This is made like for tracks, uh, cornering, precision. It's not really made for like long uh, highway stunt. I mean, you know, you can use it, but don't expect to outrun a Corvette, you know? So that's why I'm taking this route. It's got more corners. And this is all AI bots, all of these traffic bots. And this server is running, these servers are running 24 seven. Seriously, seven days a week. And people are just always playing. And they have cycle of uh, time of day cycles, weather cycles, they have it with snows that has it where it's raining, heavy rain, which looks awesome in this game with these mods with the custom shader patch. Um, this definitely teaches you how to speed in the highway. I mean, Expo is going to be easy. Expo is super maneuverable, so I can get away with it. But if I was using a different car, that was all about the engine, but not as much downforce. Oh, you're gonna feel the you're gonna feel the horror. And then they got other servers that's on here where it's all dark and you have to keep your headlights on. Oh, I messed that up. Badler. Whereas you have to keep your headlights on. Um, because it's so pitch black, but some people use the strategy of turning their headlights off and then zoom in behind you. And right before they get near you, they turn their headlights on and it distracts the shit out of you and it fucks up your race. That's such an awesome technique. 
And the first time I've ever seen that was in the initial D anime. And they do it here. They do it out here. So they have some servers. They're like, oh, it's illegal to do it with the headlights. Like, ah, you want to another server. <laughs> This is actually a very calm server. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm looking for the chaos, so let's try another one. I'm looking for another one. Oh, wish. Let me see that rain, what the rain looks like. Traffic bombs, other people in real life. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> let's see if we can find another one. Well, we can find another one. Let's see. I wanna choose something that's really violent with the engine so you can see. <laughs> see? Oh, the Mustang, no. Okay, here we go. Yes. Lamborghini Sesso Elemento. Let's take this car into the public roads and just see the chaos. And you just think it's like see, people would like to do this in reality. Like, no, I would no. If we're doing like just if the road is clear, maybe. But at certain times, I'm wondering like, why would you ever put these high-powered vehicles on these basic ass pedestrian tires? You are asking for death anytime you press the Pedal down even halfway, like death. Like you need traffic control. The tire's not made for it. Why do you have this car? Look at the car. Like, yeah, the initial D headlight trick is very vicious, and it works. It does work. I've used it a few times, and it's a nasty trick, especially in these sections where it's really dark. Yeah. That's why some of them, and then they have certain servers where you get points for avoiding traffic. So they give you like little burnout rules. Everybody's like different scripts for their servers. It's pretty cool. Like you get uh, points for just doing close shaves, uh, keep staying above 75 miles an hour. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, flashing your headlights to challenge someone. It actually comes up a little text prompt. It's yeah, this, this community for a set of Corsa is ridiculous bro like no other like no freaking other okay this daytime or nighttime which one is this one nighttime okay not rain at least it's nighttime i've never used this car before so we might die <laughs> this lady know now i know nothing about this car and the lighting in this game is Ridiculous. Oh, here we go. See, keep it by 95, uh, 95 kilometers per hour. That's the mini challenge for this one. Put on our radar because we're going to need it. Put on. All. Don't be there. I'm not trying to play with you yet. I just got in the server, homie. Don't. No. <laughs> I want none of the smoke. I know nothing about this car. I will fly right into the wall. Go, 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 go to your wife. Go home to your wife. Oh, uh, see? I don't know what the turning radius is. I already, I already crashed the damn thing. Oh. What the hell just happened? That was weird. Excuse me. Oh, this turning radius is poor. It's a Lamborghini, so that explains it. Oh, so poor. I do not like Lamborghinis. I just don't. And the fact that they became real famous in rap videos made me like them even less. <laughs> okay, let's see how this feels. So this was a Lamborghini. Lamborghinis are always all-wheel drive. Oh, look at that Ferrari F40. I love the F40. Okay, so there's no headlights rule in here. Oh, look. Poor, poor tires. Poor, poor tires! Poor tires, poor brakes. Okay, let's try to get to know the car. Excuse me! These brakes lock up like crazy. Why do brakes lock up so hard? You asshole! Okay. That's okay. That's what I get for going slow. Okay. This, this is when it starts becoming video gaming. 
Okay, Jared. It's time to be toxic. Oh, this car does not control well. Woo -hoo, there's no downforce. That was the CPU. That wasn't even a person. <laughs> I'm going to go teleport back to the pits. What am I doing? Like, I've seen so many videos um, of this, and that's why it got, got me interested, and that's how I just got into a set of Corsa. I think, oh, but that is. Why does that look like that? Um, it's, it's, oh, because we're doing no collision. Clipping in the. Uh, we're still in the paddock area, so they do. They take the collision off until you get out the paddock area, then they turn the collision on. Um, I just kept seeing so many videos of a set of course with this this mode specifically this mode, and people just playing it for hours, doing team runs with the voice chat. It just looks dope, and I just I couldn't take it no more. I finally downloaded it, and I started understanding how the mods work and installing it. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm used to this, you know, I was doing all of this when I'm working on Unreal, you know, I'm used to doing mods on PC stuff, because it literally was my job at one time. Um, and, uh, it just became a crack addiction. Like, I just, I downloaded one new car, then that's how easy it was, so I downloaded more. Then I saw there was a ton of the content that was out there that was for free! And then I started measuring, like, seeing which one's the best content. Then I started really appreciating the game, and then I started paying for other stuff from modders like VRC, virtual racing cars, uh, race race sim studio. These are actual studios that make mods for this game. You are a horse's ass, and that's what I get for driving slow on the highway. Um, and they're cheap too. They're like you know two or three dollars uh, per car. These car models are they rival anything that I've ever seen from Code Masters or Polyphony anything like like super exquisite high level modeling high level detail where i sit there and drool the way you see me do for years with people when i see look at people's character models or vehicle models just stare at it for hours and hours like that their work is ridiculous so i was like i will happily give you guys money or on their patreons and then i started just, just seeing the whole culture behind it like people that are doing stuff from saudi arabia these guys they rendered out all of like dubai the Dubai street street racing area. They rendered that out and they have locked servers for it. I'm like, yo, this game's a lifestyle. This whole game is a lifestyle. The game is literally a lifestyle. It's bugged out. It's actually kind of tame in here today, tonight. Oh, spoke too soon. How y'all doing? Come on, keep moving now. Keep moving. What are you doing? Go! Okay, you're stupid. Why? You just, you just, okay, we're just gonna. Oh, you're waiting for me. Oh, you wanna try and ram me against the wall. I'm gonna play Burnout. Okay, let's play Burnout. Let's play Burnout, bitch. I, I took way more damage to that than he did. Come on, come on, traffic, move. Oh, he's right there. Oh, that's a Ferrari. Wait, is he in front of the Ferrari? Really, AI? There he is. Oh, you're being a jerk. I see you. Come on. Come on, stupid. I guess he's stuck. <laughs> oh!
this car is. I'm getting a little used to it. it doesn't control that bad. Like, the all-wheel drive makes up for a lot. Also, I like doing this uh, mode because it's really meditative. Like, if I actually need to figure out a problem or if I need time to think, I seriously will just go on this, uh, go on this on like one of the courses, and I just I need time to think. I just jump on the track and just, you know, drive an autopilot, enjoy the course, enjoy everything, and try to figure out what the day's problem is, which people actually do with driving. Yeah, something's up here. I'm getting a bit of a resistance here. Oh, hold on. I'm checking on my pedal right now. Might have to repair my pedals. Repair it or it's just misaligned. Most likely that's what it is. Are we going the wrong direction? <laughs> Alright, so that's the Shotoku Highway. <laughs> oh that's right you wanted to see what the rain looks like let me show you because uh jermaine was talking about this before also so the rain let's check hmm what would look good in the rain i mean they all look good in the rain Actually, yeah, let's do the Tokyo. We've never done the Tokyo in the rain yet, so that'd be fun to do with you guys. Okay, weather. Now we need to make sure that we have wet tires. Because as I've discovered, it will make a difference. It's to uh, just rain, yeah. We don't need heavy rain. Because it starts getting to the point where you can't even control the car. And you're like, you should not be racing in a tornado <laughs> or, or in a hurricane. <laughs> like, why would you do that to yourself? Uh, oh, so let me show you like the VRC Race Sim Studio Virtual Racing Cars RSS. Of course, just God tier models. Just, 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 okay, just, just, um, Formula Americas. Should we go for it? Do we feel like being ignorant? Let's 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 start from three. Let's start from three. Formula three. Yes. Control it first. Control the pace. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna take a short break. Uh, I'm going to leave the stream run. I'm going to put on a replay for you guys. Uh, actually, I'll just put the... Well, I'll put on a replay for you guys. And then uh, we're going to jump into some ACC. Still trying to get used to it. Ooh, excuse me. Mostly with Nordschleife. Nordschleife is probably the thing I enjoy the most on it, honestly. <clears throat> and I, if, I, if I'm going to play anything on it, I probably will just focus on that. And go to rain. Oh, I probably should have chosen a uh, non-open wheel vehicle so you could see the rain effects on the windshield, which look gorgeous. But this will do. Wheel cam is on your face. Now, mind you, all of this rain is not from the vanilla game. It's not from the default game. This is a mod 
from the custom shaders patch uh, that you actually have to pay for. Doesn't cost much. It's just to the page. It's just a subscription to the guy's Patreon for like three to five bucks, and you can immediately cancel if you want to. And just download the files. But like all of this you're seeing here, like these water effects, all volumetric water effects. These are not 2D water effects. It's all volumetric. And all of this is from the custom shaders patch. Reflections, everything. <laughs> that way too hard in the rain knowing damn well I should know but the rain physics in this are actually pretty good they're fairly gradual well, I actually tried this uh, on a previous stream with Jermaine I was trying at different levels of rain to see where it gets to be uncontrollable without wet tires and then even with wet tires when it's just like okay this is not playable um, this is playable even with these uh, racing tires but like one more step up and we're just to be hydroplaning the whole way through. I can't see nothing! <laughs> you gotta fix the cam, that's the wheel because it's pointing to, up to the ceiling now. Oh! The wheel cam! Oh! Yep, that's what the vibration does. Ha 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 ha. Thank you. Did not see that. That's again for not checking back at the uh, the OBS. Because in the confidence monitor, I'm just looking at it there. Okay, let me choose something that's closed. Let's choose a GT3. Actually, no. Let's stick to the Racing Center Studio, actually. Let me choose one of their premium GT3 vehicles. Of course, we're going to choose Lexus because we're a Toyota whore. I don't care what anybody thinks. <laughs> let's do nighttime. Get some nighttime lighting with the rain. Skied. Let's see if I remember what the wiper numbers are. What the windshield wiper is one or two in a number pad. Just a luscious, luscious rain. That's right. You kill my processor. <laughs> there goes the effects. Look at the rain on the... Oh my god. Just remember what... Where it was for the windshield wiper! No, no, no. Damn it. Ah. Hold on. I need to see, because I thought it was on the number pad. <clears throat> uh. Controls. Hit limiter, extra hazards, left turn signal, wipers, here we go. 
Oh, alt number pad. Dude. I was just pressing numbers. Alt plus number pad. That's right. Oh, it looks like Formula Formula One esports is doing stuff. That's another thing. F one started going the hardcore esports route. Um, I don't know if anybody here jumps into like Formula Four or even like Formula Academy. Formula Academy is more of the the women's division that's to introduce them into Formula Four, Three, Two, and eventually One. But there's nobody, no women in Formula Two or One, barely in Three. Um, <clears throat> but uh, the F1 game is considered to be a racing sim. It feels more Simcade, if I'm be honest. I like it. Uh, I do like it. There we go. Okay, that's good. It's a good pace. Like I forgot what my wiper button was. Absolutely gonna need this here because I'm not gonna be seeing nothing. All right, I'm using hard tires because we're stupid. <clears throat> yeah, F1 esports. Yeah. So yeah, all this rain, like all this is uh, in my custom shaders patch, a custom custom one. Traction control on three in this rain. Oh! See? I am using a hard tire, I'm being stupid about it. I deserve everything I get. Just choose a wet tire. Why am I trying to ice skate uphill? Literally in this case. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh, 24 PSI is about us going to get. Okay, there we go. I can fit a road now. <laughs> I love the colored lighting reflection. All oh, this is from the custom shaders patch. Oh, crap. We can't see nothing because the windshield web is not working. <laughs> Dear God. Oh! Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I can feel the grip slipping over and over. Like a grip slip, grip slip. Like, oh yes, it's water. <coughs> Get the AI suffering behind me. Oh, pay attention. I slipped through a puddle. I felt that. I felt it. I felt it. I felt literally felt it. Why does the AI hate me? That is so beautiful. Do you see the water beating on the hood of the vehicle? This is ridiculous. And it, the water droplets actually gather even on this section of your screen when someone is in front of you. Look at the light reflection on the water beating. Come on. God. You see how it moves with the physics? I move. 
I move to the right, it moves to the left. I move to the left, it moves to the right, and it does it in real time. And this is a shader patch from the community. This is not even from the game designers. Is it any wonder why no one gets out of this game? I can't see nothing! Oh! This is so much fun. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is fun as hell. Oh, shit. AI, you have... Your mother. Your mother, your mother. No grip, no grip. So in the rain, I should never ever stay in first gear. Clearly, got it. Oh my god, we made it to the straight. Let's see if we can stay straight. Oh! Nope. Not staying straight. <laughs> Even that was fun. And I can feel when the car is slipping out. It's not a thing where it just happens and I have no idea what's happening. I can feel it and I'm just I'm like I'm trying to work with it because I'm apprehensive because I can feel the car's like, no, yes, no. <laughs> it's fun as hell. Damn, the lighting in this game is beautiful. Play the light reflections just from the fireworks. Yeah, the brain turns on. Load the what level just loaded. Now that's a flaw. You can see it shining through this solid object. It's not considering to cut this portion off from the light. <coughs> yeah, Set of Corsa is a good looking game. AI don't care. <laughs> AI just don't care. <laughs> just left me alone in the rain to die. <laughs> I knew you got the itis. As soon as you say that you downed that pizza before, I I knew it. I knew it. I was like, she, she's gone for a bit. She probably passed out by now. Or at least she's just stuck to whatever chair or bed she's in. <laughs> Oh, Christ. All right, guys, we're going to take a short break. And when we back, we're going to jump on to some ACC. We're going to do a little bit of ACC. Um, we're going to do a little bit of ACC. Uh, jump in Nordschleife. But uh, in the meantime, I'm just, uh, we just run and let you guys uh, chill out for a bit. And uh, we'll be back. So don't go nowhere. Uh, of course, uh, thank you for hanging out. Seriously, I appreciate it. Um, trying to get this algorithm more robust, I guess, right? And, uh, yeah, so I'm just appreciating these blessings right now. I'm loving you guys for being here. So I'll be right back. I'm going nowhere. We're going to jump back on to some ACC. Stay tuned.
All right, we are back. You, you. All right, we're back. All right, so. Here we go. <laughs> Let's just get some Nordschleife um, experience. Some further experience, I should say. Mm. Uh, uh, ooh, these are all anyway. Hey, nobody's in a Nurburgring. It's an empty right now. Fifteen minutes. There's nobody in here. Okay. Let me just join one until someone jumps. Someone's gonna jump in. Free practice. Ten minutes. Look for a free practice room if we could just find one. All record, a quarter card. I always uh, mispronounced that. <clears throat> I'm always thinking Paul Richard, and then I think of Team Paul Richard, and I think of the Taekwondo team. I used to watch those all the time, the forms competitions, and Team Paul Richard would always win. <laughs> This dude is so crazy. That's a hair care company, but they have their own Taekwondo team. That's crazy. <clears throat> There's nobody really here, so let's just jump in. That's fine.
That's good though. Oh. Oh, that was good though. That was good. That felt good. Okay. All right. Uh. All right. Call it. Call it for tonight. This was pretty good. Um, I'm gonna keep it in a good mood. I don't want to try and start just jumping on online. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Um, because if I jump on online, I'm gonna start getting pissed off. I want to get pissed off. It's a good mood, good vibe, good vibe. I'm gonna keep it that way for tonight. But guys, um, thank you for jumping in tonight. This was fun. This was very fun. Um, I guess it makes more sense for me to start talking about a lot of the work that I'm doing. You know, <laughs> it just makes sense. So um, yeah, the a whole uh, production portfolio is going to be a thing for the program uh, here on out, you know, so I really appreciate the feedback, um, the feedback from everybody. I got a chance to check it out in the preview yesterday and early today. So thank you all for real. Thank you. Thank you, Jermaine. Thank you, Triforce. Uh, thank you, everyone involved uh, that helped out. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Kanisha, everybody that gave me uh, the advice, that gave me some feedback on this. Um, so yeah, so that's gonna conclude our program for tonight. Our program, right? Call it program. So uh, guys, um, as usual, you know, leave some comments if you got any questions about what you saw, especially when it comes to like the design stuff, the editing work. Um, let me know. That's what I'm here for. You know, I do a consultation. You know, we'll talk or whatever. Uh, email me, message me. We'll figure it out. So in the meantime, um, yeah, we'll see you again soon. Um, yeah, so I got for tonight. So I got for tonight. So like and subscribe. I'm gonna finish this glass of wine, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.